Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to Lawrenceville, Georgia. Day three recap from the Lawrenceville bracket of the NAI baseball opening round. As two games were on the docket for you, and only one team would punch their ticket to Lewiston, Idaho. Would it happen today? We'll find out right here as we dive into the highlights of this contest. Elimination game out of the gate. Point versus Kaiser, the five versus the three, and it would be the Skyhawks getting out to a great start as the top of the lineup, and Dayton Cook and Alberto Lozado would team up for not only just a couple of runs, but a couple of RBIs too as well. The Skyhawks would put three runs up in the opening frame against the starter of the Seahawks for Kaiser as the Seahawks would just not have the right mojo early on in this contest. Harrison Osborne, for point, would go five and one-third innings, scattering five hits, just giving up two runs, and picking up a pair of strikeouts. The defense would be good, too, as well. Sacrifice fly commits the out as the Kaiser Seahawks get a run in the bottom of the third on a sacrifice fly. They would close the distance down to a solo home run by Peter Crescito, would be a solo shot to get the deficit back within one run, but that is close as Kaiser would get. The Skyhawks would add three runs in the top of the seventh. The defense would be great, and the momentum really taken out of the sale. There's the tying run on the base path, but there's the three spot coming for the Point University Skyhawks. The five seed would survive the loser's bracket and advance in the Lawrenceville bracket to take on the Georgia Gwinnett Grizzlies, who would sit pretty at 2-0 and as the number one seed and the host right here in Lawrenceville, Georgia. GGC would flex their muscles in the second inning. Getting things started would be Cord Johnson with an extra base hit down the left field line with a laser beam, followed up by a Jordan Tilski rocket down the right field line. The Grizzlies would use every inch of this ballpark driving runs in the second inning as they would rough up the starter, Jesse Ford, who came back on just two days rest. Marcus McCorkle gets into the action as the career leader in triples at Georgia Gwinnett would hit his last triple in Lawrenceville, his 23rd of his career. Motors around the bag over to third, and GGC would hit five extra base hits in the second inning alone in route to a seven-run rally. Alex Garland gets on the action as well. Four doubles in total as Garland would pick up one of them, and the Grizzlies would get six. Seven runs in the second inning alone, and that would be all that they would need. Matos rakes one down the left field line as well, and that would be all that GGC would need. Hunter Peck, the third starter for GGC, is almost perfect in this contest. After Gregory Lukanen threw a complete game nine-inning win on Monday, followed up by a Hunter Dolender complete game nine-inning win on Tuesday, Peck would follow suit. The defense would be great behind him with three double plays. Jordan Tilski flashes the leather too as well. Hunter Peck, the complete game distance. He faced two more than the minimum. Striking out eight, walking just two, scattering three hits. And the Grizzlies were phenomenal in all assets of the game here today. Late in the contest, Brandon Frazier texts on a quality insurance run for the Grizzlies as the Skyhawks would start this game at 9 a.m. in the day. The game would go almost to midnight thanks to a multiple-hour rain delay and multiple instances trying to get this tournament in, and the Skyhawks would simply run out of gas. The play of the day comes from C.J. Ballard and Wright. Catches it against the warning track in foul territory. Head over heels. Did he come out with it? Yes, he's got the ball and the glove and his hat. Recovers it all as GGC would go into the ninth, winning 13 to nothing. Jordan Tilski with an acrobatic play. And the Grizzlies are going back to Lewiston, Idaho for the second time in program history, winning the Lawrenceville bracket as the Grizzlies would win by a final score of 13 to nothing. They grabbed the hardware. Marcus McCorkle front and center as uh, one of the major senior contributors on this team. He has fought all of his career for this moment, and a great one for him, Brad Stromdahl, and the GGC baseball program. They go blazing right through the top of the bracket with a perfect 3-0 and record, and GGC 
is headed to the Avista NAI World Series May 24th through June 1st with the National Championship having that first day of June. Grizzlies are looking forward to that opportunity. A return trip for the Grizzlies making a regular season appearance to Harris Field earlier this season. Fans, for all the information, log back on to grizzlyathletics.com for our entire cast and crew from Launchville, Georgia. Signing off sincerely from the bottom of my heart. It was a pleasure to host you guys on the other side of the screens all week long, and we look forward to talking to you guys from Lewiston, Idaho. I'm Matt Mahoney signing off, saying so long, everybody. This is the Grizzly Digital.